Good morning everyone, Libby here back in my kitchen and what I'm going to try and do is share my food prep for the week with you. Don't know I'm going to get it all done today which is Monday and would be the preferred day. I have to take my um, eldest Athena into hospital this morning and um, so it's going to take a bit of time. We've got about an hour before we've got to go. Nothing serious, don't worry. If you do follow my other vlogs, they're going back to a hospital for another ketamine infusion to treat fibromyalgia. Um, yeah, so I'll show you already over the weekend. I've done my meal plan. I've made a list of all the stuff I want to prep early in the week. And I've also gone and got all my groceries, so I could do this today. Uh, usually I get, usually I do that food prep with leftover stuff sort of Monday. I'm still fiddling around with the meal prep thing. I really obviously need to get groceries first, then meal prep. But I like to get my groceries on Tuesday. So I'm not quite sure what this is going to come. But I thought I would share my experience with you. And maybe try the next few weeks to share the food prep. And my developing hopefully refinement of it. <laughs> so for those of you who are, who are new to my channel. I am attempting a vegan diet. <laughs> I've attempted it many times. I've been a vegetarian for about uh, ooh, 13 years I think now. And I've been trying to make the shift to a vegan diet. So... All my food prep is vegan. The rest of the family, one child is vegetarian, but a fussy vegetarian, and the other two eat everything. So just keep that in mind, because you will see some non-vegan foods, but the bulk of the meal prep is going to be vegan, or close to it. So anyway, I will show you my meal plan. Bearing in mind, as I just said, the eldest is going to be in hospital this week, so the only other child we're left with is the fussy eater. So tonight... Um, so I'll show you my meal plan so that you can sort of see what I'm doing for food prep. So I'm going to have what's called a country grain casserole tonight for dinner. That's a super easy dinner. Um, and I'm going to make some soup for Christy. Tomorrow night, pasta with mushrooms. Although I do have leftover vegan lasagna from last night. So that might get swapped out. We might just have the vegan lasagna. Wednesday night, shepherd's pie. Or it's a, I think it's a lentil cottage pie or something because obviously it's vegan. Um, and I'm going to freeze a fair bit of that. Thursday night we're going to have veggie fajitas. Friday night, um, Christy and I are going to be out at a concert, so I need to have something for Kevin. Um, and Saturday night, night um, peanut tofu Buddha bowls, which I saw on Pinterest. And then I've just left Sunday as blank for now because something will get changed along the way. <laughs> and then this is the meal prep that I wanted to do this week: pumpkin hummus, which I've already done. Need to make our uh, milk, boil some eggs. Kevin likes them with his lunch. Chop the vegetables for, for fajitas. Make the shepherd's pie and freeze some. Make cauliflower soup. I'd like to also make some barley and vegetable soup for myself and freeze that. Dog meals. I don't need to do that till tomorrow at least because they've got dinner already for tonight. I'm going to try and attempt freezing some sandwiches for Kevin. I've never done that before. But I haven't got any meat to put on his sandwich at the moment. So they'll have to wait and cut. We've got to cut the watermelon up and to see that we've got a big, huge watermelon to use up. And then I'm not quite sure. I probably won't do all of this. Uh, I found a crunchy oat bar that sounds nice in a vegan magazine chocolate chip slice I'll probably whip that up today and this balls and I'm going to try and freeze as much as I can this balls I don't freeze but the other two I get them sort of in individual servings and freeze them so that they're not overeaten so that's the idea um, and I'll show you <laughs> as I go about it um, as I said I don't quite know where to start today um, I'll probably start by chopping up the vegetables I think for tonight's dinner which isn't much and um, yeah, I might actually try chopping all the vegetables first, but I can get the eggs on boiling while we're doing that. Okay, so I've gathered, I think, most of the vegetables I need. I've got the recipes out that require vegetable cutting. And I've also decided I'm going to probably make this for lunch or for a side because I've got a bok choy and I want to use it up. So I'm going to make that and that, but I'll leave the bok choy one to last. And I was going to try cooking some black beans, but I don't think we'll worry today since time is going to be a bit on the short side.
gonna have to excuse the messy kitchen. I'll just I'll give you a little update. So the eggs are cooked. Just got them in some cold water to cool down. This is tonight's dinner, the mixed grain casserole. I just have to add a cup of frozen corn and the stock and cook it. And it gets cooked in the oven. And then over here I've got the vegetables ready for the barley and vegetable soup. And I, if I were more organised, I need to next time I'll try and get more organised and sort of do steps, I guess, try and work out my steps or what I need to do. I should have been cooking the barley because it's got to cook for an hour before I add the vegetables. So I'll just do that when I get home or this afternoon. But don't do it today. I can put it back in the fridge. And then here I've got all the vegetables, mushrooms, onions and capsicums or what are they called in America. I don't, my brain's gone blank, but you guys know what they are. Uh, bell peppers. It's on my recipe because it's an American recipe. <laughs> so they're already going to pop them in the fridge. That's for fajitas, which is I don't know, Thursday or Friday night. So they're ready. That's going to be good. They're going to make dinner so easy. So I did forget to prep the vegetables that I need for the lentil stew. So I'm going to go ahead, I think, and do that now. And also the ratatouille ones. It's probably better I just do a couple at a time because I'll probably get too confused unless I make a better list. my bowl thing what is that that's my bowl of scraps i'm going to cook that up for the dogs there's also two zucchini that i won't be using this week so and they're already a week old so the dogs can have them cauliflower ready to make up the cauliflower soup obviously with having to go out in now in about 10 minutes i haven't been able to like cook anything cooked yet so it's a little bit different to what would be ideal i've also chopped up spring onion or what they're called enchilots or something and last time i put them in a jar this time I'm going to try and just have them in a bag. Just I don't go through that many and I usually buy them and end up throwing the whole lot out. So I've been trying to cut them. I've got that idea from a peek inside because she chopped up all her spring onion in a food prep video. So thank you for that <laughs> great idea. So I'll pop that in the fridge and the only problem is if I put it in the crisper it probably won't get used. So I don't quite know. Last time I had it in a jar and I just sat it in there. Maybe if I have it like at the front where I see it maybe that will be all right so i've ordered what capsicums I'm, I'm still getting used to the food prep um i've got spinach and whatnot in there and salad stuff so i've still got more stuff to do when i get home oh is this kale still all right i'll make kale chips this afternoon too so yeah but at least we've made a start <laughs>
half an hour. Oops, let me see coffee. Uh, so, okay, so it's about another, bit, another half an hour in the kitchen. The cauliflower soup is done. I've blended it and I've added the cheese and I'm going to divide it up into Christie's dinner, two for the fridge and one for the freezer. The barley and vegetable soup is going. It's nearly finished, I believe. Then I just add the barley in and it's done. I've cooked up, that was all that, well, that was the scraps that were in the fridge. <laughs> the scraps from today have got back into the fridge. And no one in my family besides me likes peas. So I decided just to cook the bag of peas and give it to the dogs. It's been in the freezer probably for about six months. Um, and that's our leftovers. I did mashed potatoes the other day and I didn't cook them enough so the, they weren't very nice. So that's the dog's dinner sorted. I grated up a block of cheese for the cheese eaters in the family. I much prefer just doing my own cheese. It's just the cheese. It hasn't got anything added to it. And I find it's much nicer and fresher. And it keeps fine in the fridge. So I just realised I kind of I kind of want this for soup I think. But I'll find another dish for the soup. I still did all the eggs. You saw that. And I think that's about where we're up to. So yeah, so there's four stuffed eggs and one boiled egg way more than probably Kevin needs because only four days left in the week but he can have one for a snack after in the afternoon or something okay I still have bits to do but um what was I going to do now I'm going to dish up the soups and then I might sort the dinner I want to try and get the dishwasher as packed as I can so I can get it put on and then all I've done for the shepherd's pie or lentil pie whatever it's called is the carrots I haven't got any further than that on that one it'll probably have to wait till tomorrow okay so the barley and the barley and vegetable soup is all done just trying to let it cool off a little bit and I've gone ahead and I forgot to well I haven't filmed it because I'm in a bit of a hurry so I've done the garlicky bok choy mushrooms uh, I don't think I can, I if I can share this recipe for this because it is a Tone It Up recipe. So I probably can't really share it. If you are a member of Tone It Up, it was from the Frisky Fall edition. I don't know when, a number of years ago. Because, um, yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. But, um, yeah, thinking, but I, I did, didn't do it right. I was supposed to keep the sauce and put the sauce on at the end, but I actually cooked all the sauce and I'm cooking the vegetables in the sauce. I'm kind of thinking it's not really going to go with um, potatoes, but it might. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll maybe see what I feel like tomorrow. I think I had so much rice last week, I got sick of rice, so I don't really want to have rice again. So there's actually, I don't think any rice on the menu at all this week. I need to be obviously careful not to do that and mix things up a bit. But I was using up the rice that I'd overcooked. I ended up having I don't know, five or six rice meals last week too much so yeah but I think I'll just um I'll just cook this and I think I'll um maybe one day I could have rice and one day I could have potatoes we will see you later I'll probably cook them until tomorrow anyway and I can finish off my food prep tomorrow morning oh now I've got to take Christy to an appointment tomorrow morning so I don't have much time tomorrow either I don't know <laughs> maybe when I come home we'll see but I'm pretty much out of steam now but if I have a bit of a rest I might have maybe another hour We'll see. At least dinner's done. So I don't have to stress about dinner tonight. That's good. You know what the crazy thing is? For how long I spent in the kitchen today, I don't seem to have crossed too many things off. <laughs> There's still lots to do. But anyway, I've done the most important stuff. And obviously, yeah, even if I don't make the shepherd's pie to Wednesday, which is when we're going to have it, that's fine. I will do the almond milk and make up some overnight oats this afternoon at least and get the kitchen back into some order because it's summer. Um, yeah, a bit of a mess, and obviously, you've got the camera there that I was filming on. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy but very tired. Okay, I just thought I'd show you the final state of the kitchen. So, I'm waiting for the dishwasher still to cool down so I can be unpacked. I've got a few things to go in it, and I've washed out the bulk of the big pots. Oven is preheating, ready to throw dinner in to cook while I'm out. And I did also get the almond milk, almond milk made. And I made up overnight oats, mango overnight oats for myself, for Kevin and myself. I couldn't find a good container for the soup, so I just got into a jug. Anyway, I feel accomplished and very tired. <laughs>